How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph Customs? Let's get the arse end of this uh, exhaust done on the Triumph Chop number two. I'm sure you can hear we've got the blower on because it's fucking cold in there right yeah. regular readers will have seen the ensemble of the front section with the collector and the bend and then the through pipe now what we need to do is run this bend through in a suitable place yeah where we don't hit this we don't want it hitting that and we don't want it coming out so it hits that so we're going to gauge it about there put a mark on it cut it off and look again it tacked in place i might though before i do that i might cut it off like i've said with a mark and then go in half here because i'm thinking of twisting it once it comes through yeah, I might turn it and rotate it and fuck about with it. I also might end up doing some pie cuts out of here, which we'll get into if I do. You know, we'll see. We'll see where this comes. I think we'll need to pie cut it away. Righto, so what we've worked out, we being me, is um, that we can fit that in there quite nicely and angle it, angle it, so it misses this a little bit. And then from there, we're going to project this. This bit's going to come here somehow. We're going to make that that exit there point back and up a bit because we've got a silencer that's going to fit somewhere here, like so. What I wanted to show you is the process I used to, to prep the ends up. So once they're cleaned up. Well, sorry, once they're cut, we have to clean them up. Now, I'll use a flap wheel. Yeah, not a brand new one. We don't want it digging in. We want it fucking gently caressing this surface and removing all the burrs. And then we'll come over to the belt sander and we'll run it on the belt sander, making sure it stays flat. And you can see the grain that the belt sander produces. Yeah. From there, we come over here and we use the deburring tool inside to get rid of any burrs. We use the wire wheel on the die grinder on the outside to get rid of the oxide and give it a polish. And then we use the uh, acetone on a rag to get the shit off, get the grease off and oil off. I mean, that's all from the pipe, this black stuff. That's from the tube, look. Finally, I don't know where I've put it. Oh, it's down here. Finally, we'll give it a rub with a nice clean Scotch Brite. This is not a nice clean Scotch Brite, I've just noticed, but we use that to get in there and fucking give it some. And we'll also run this inside. Yeah, before we degrease, we run that inside. So we've got the operation a bit wrong because that's a bit scabby like. So it gets a proper, thorough fucking box ready to weld up then we're gonna flash weld it flash tack it like because we ain't got three hands so we can't hold that where we need it which is there but can't hold that in place and tig and feed filler rod and do all of that so what we have to do is get it best we can and then get in with the tig torch which is up there and try and fucking flash tack it just to hold it in place a bit like which this is the most awkward fucking part of the operation right with that you can see i had a few fucking yeah it's not focusing it took about three fucking goes to get one to fucking get on there get a flash tack on and then we've managed to to tack it 
here and there and there and here and out there it exits so i think what's next on the agenda is you look at it follows a lovely line along the bottom of the frame there we need to put a bracket for it so let's move this out. move the earth the kit out of the way <coughs> so we're gonna need something on here a boss a threaded boss and then a bracket off here i believe that's what i did on mine to be fair this putting a bracket on here makes it a fucking right pain in the ass when you come to fucking about with the frame because it don't sit flat because you've got a chunk hanging down but how, are you gonna, how else are you gonna do it you know you don't want something in here looking shitter you don't want something in there in the way and fucking hard to get to and i didn't want something <coughs> On mine, I didn't want it visible from this side. I didn't want to spoil that long line of tube by whacking a bracket here like that. So I think we're going to go over to the lathe. We're going to turn a bit of stainless into an M8 boss. And that's going to get welded on this tube, on this bend, back of this bend. And then we're going to drop a bracket down like I just said. <coughs> right now, apart from saying I'm bastard freezing because I am I've been looking through my uh, bits and bobs and I've actually found a boss ready-made it's the right diameter it's stainless steel it's got an M10 thread in it it's happy days but uh, what I need to do is run a, dot, a tap through because the threads I've tried a bolt in it and it's not as smooth as I'd like it I reckon it's an offcut from a piece of something I've made uh, may well be from the boss that's now on my exhaust Anyway, I'm going to clean the threads up with a tap and then I'm going to spin it up in the lathe on a bit of uh, M10 threaded bar and give it a, a good clean up because it's a bit fucking, it's got glue on it or something. It looks like rust but it's definitely not rust because it's not fucking, look, it's got no, no, no iron in it. So it's a bit stainless and that'll do us. And then we can make a bracket accordingly, slightly longer than my stock little tabs that I've got one somewhere and don't know where I fucking put it. Anyway, I'm gonna fucking tap through that and uh, clean it up. Oh no, let's see how this fucking goes. It's got a bluff tap, so it's smooth all the way through. And I've been on some clean happy days. So here we have it on a fucking, there's a bolt in there. You can see it, look. And I reckon, if you just clean that shit off the outside, like fucking so. Okay. This is one of the reasons that I, I don't like throwing lots of stuff away. That and I'm a bit of a fucking hoarder. I'm going to move you. There you go. Let's clean this end up. Yeah, nice and gentle because it's just holding on the threads. There we go. Look at that. Happy days. Sorted. And now that will won't undo, will it? Mine. No. That will now fuck off. Weld nicely on to the exhaust. And take that bracket. I'm just gonna go go from the other way around. Who were misses? If I can. Yeah. Just to clean that end up. And then we ain't got to worry about putting it on the right way and we ain't got to worry about the fucking your tab not sitting square so uh, a bit wobbly that one but we only want to face it so there we go i'm happy with that <coughs> it should there's a bird on that one bit of a raymond going on let's just have that off and now we can use that and what's that talk look a fucking minute and a half two minutes happy days all right next up these are my uh, usual bracket trees that i fit on everything chats i call them but that's not long enough for inch and a quarter i think that is where are we at look that way around our fit Inch and, a, inch and a fucking quarter, yeah, just under. I'm gonna go 
inch and three quarters. I'm going to cut one inch and three quarters and then we'll whack a 10 mil clearance hole in the end. Right now, with that one cut longer, look, uh, centre marked. Then we're over at the mighty Meddings and we're going to drill that. And I'm hoping no, no fucking pilot drill, no fuck all, no messing around. Just straight through with the 10 mil line. Should be happy days. Here we go then. Wish me luck. Uh, nice and steady away. Little drop of lube, bit of brown sauce. Not brown sauce. Look, it's Miller's. If Miller's, my chosen fucking well, spread it itself up. I've gone on to auto feed because the spring's gone in the fucking return. So, nice and steady away. This is always as I was doing my product placement, not sponsored. <laughs> um, I'll swap that out now. Behave yourself, look. Stay where you put. Come on. Stop showing off in front of your friends. So, ugh, I'll change that out for the deburring one. Which looks like it's going to have to be the big bastard. Because the other one's somewhere else. Like fucking so. The joys of making brackets, look. And made mean and means I'm made, doesn't it? Just for that, just for that touch look. We'll swap it over. Put it nice and tight. There we go. Snorted. Hey up. Everyone's a wiener. Don't forget folks, our Fuckstock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuckstock, you know it makes sense. Oh, I know, so after much fucking about, really difficult to get in and get a tack on here. Yeah, but we're right, we're there, we've got the bracket on. That won't go anywhere now. That is fucking solid. We've got a nice gap under there, it follows along. <clears throat> we've got a nice gap here, and now we've got this protrusion that needs to end up pointing this way. So I think that it's time to make some pie cuts. I'm not going to use these pie cuts. These have been, oh, actually, actually, you know, that might kind of start to get us in the right direction. Hmm. It really needs to fuck off that way a bit. Like that. I'm not showing you very well. It might, that might get us going in the right direction, but I don't think it will. I think we need to come this way. So I'm going to go and cut a load of pie cuts out of this. Might have to trim that fucker down. Hey, will that help? If I cut that down and then use that. It's just giving me where I'm at now, isn't it? It's just changing the angle of where I'm at now, really. Mm. Mm. Decisions. Decisions. I don't have another bend. On mine, this was cut here, and I used another bend, but not the same bend. So I, I had more than two halves. I had two three quarters, if you like, to, to give me some fucking shape. Don't have that, because I ain't got any. So I ain't got none. So we're going to pie cut it, I think. Is the only option. We'll get making some pie cuts. Right, so we've got a saw set for making pie cuts out of that tube. I'll do a brief explanation. If you want a full video on pie cutting, let me know and we'll see if I can find time. Maybe when I'm doing my diner exhaust. Yeah, <clears throat> basically, I hate that word, it's a filler word. We've marked the centre of this tube 25 mil because it's 50 mil tube. So we've got measured up from here, 25, made them out. Same the other side. That gives us two indexes. That corresponds with that mark. And we've got this fence set, or the vice, set at four and a half degrees, which will give us a compound of nine degrees when we cut it, which means 10 pies. 10 slices of pie will make a 90 degree bend, yeah? So 
that's four and a half degrees. When we cut two, when we cut it, it's got two of those angles on it. That makes nine degrees, 10 makes 90. And what we need to do is line that pen mark up there. Yeah. And then spin it round for the next cut and line that pen mark up and that'll give us even easy to index chats, pies. I'll show you, I'll, I'll cut some and show you. Right, I've cut one, I've cut the end off that. But that's not a true pie because this side's flat because it was the original end of the tube. It's not angled, but it's useful. It's a useful piece, yeah. Um, what I've also done is set my stop. So we're gonna make them all the same length and we can, uh, we can make them bigger or smaller. Don't wanna go too small because you'll end up too tight on this joint. But that'll give you a bigger or smaller curve like when you're doing your 90. So I've cut it once, I've spun it around 180 degrees. So the other line lines up. We're touching the stop. And we're nice and gentle, take that through. Guiding it, look. Giving it a bit of support. Yeah. And that'll cut off there. And should be happy days. Come on, come on you brother. There we go. So there's one. We'll turn this around 180 degrees, do it again. Wash, rinse, repeat. Right, so that gives us a whole bunch of these little bastards, look. There you go, I'll clean them up. Like I showed before with my sander, I'll clean them up with flat wheel. Glove up, give them a tickle up, get rid of any burrs and shit. And maybe a quick buzz over to the fucking belt sander just to polish them up properly. And then we can start looking at shaping them and making fucking stuff fit and fucking get that, get that pipe fucking pointing where it needs to be. I've done 15, which is 15 times nine. 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. We've got a, a maximum there, but we're gonna be twisting and moving and not quite following exactly because we need it to, to change its angle. There should be more than enough there. I'll get them cleaned up um, and then we'll go back over to the job and see how we can make that pipe point in the right direction. Right, so after much fucking about, cleaning and fettling and tacking and tapping and we have got this, look, and that. There's a baffle in there that I won't use, but I think Andy's gonna, not that it makes a lot of difference to what I'm doing. I think needs to come in a little bit more. So we're almost there. Okay, fucking dokie. So, after much cogitation, mastication, no, we didn't do any of that. But we've got a silencer mounted up. Yeah. We, uh, here's the old pie cut. Loves to tear it in. And then we run a straight bit and, oh, it's still hot, little kick out just to get it where we fucking need it. And I'm sure you'll agree, that looks peachy. You can see here, look, where I've rotated the pie cuts. That was, the, oh, that was one line, obviously, before I cut it up. Um, and I've, as I've fitted them, I've rolled them down and that's given me the, the desired line to fire it out where it is now. It's got a bit of spring in it because it ain't welded up, but, I'm sure you will agree. It's not tight here either, actually. It's only finger tight on that mount. Just, uh, just pan along. So, that is one stainless steel exhaust fabricated. What I need to do now is strip it all down and wad it all up. And I'll go to fucking... That is a task in itself to be fair, like it's not something that I relish. What I'll do, I'll take the TIG and the fab table and I'll fuck off over there with it, where I've got more room and I will get dedicatedly set up for that. I'll run a second uh, Argon. Here we go, look, it's a spiny purge kit, look. I'll run a second Argon supply and purge, back purge. Yeah. Never mind these, you know what these are for, don't you? 
You know, when you've got a job on the bench and you're walking to handlebars all the time. Yeah, well, yeah. Get a tennis ball, cut across in the end, push you over your handlebars. Then it is just a twat instead of a really painful twat. Yeah. Happy days. Don't ask me why there's three. That's how they came. Right, oh, so with everything tacked up quite extensively, we need to do our final prep. And what that means for me is going around with the die grinder. Look, just cleaning up around there. So I do all, all of the joints will get a quick polish with the die grinder. And then we'll get a wipe over with a bit of acetone on a prep pad, just like this, look, just to make sure that everyone's happy. There's no grease or shit or anything on there. And and we leave that to dry now. It's fucking cold in here, so it's gonna take a while to dry. Uh, I could flash it off with the old map gas light if I wanted. And if I was using cloth to wipe it down, I would flash it off with the map gas because that would burn off any bits of cloth that are caught, any little bits of fluff and shit that are caught on any of the tacks and joints. Um, and then we go over to the welding bench. So here's the setup. look. We've got a uh, fucking brilliant, this uh, Vivo welding bench is the dog's bollocks. We've got a million fucking tungstens, ground and fucking ready to rock and roll, double-ended, because we like a bit double-ended, don't we? We've got filler wire which I take off a spool of hey, stainless MIG wire here, look. I think it's 0.8, but I'm not sure. And a few spare bits over there ready to rock and roll. And then we've got the purge set up. This is really important because uh, we don't want oxidation on the inside of these uh, joints, so we have to set it up to purge it out. Right, so let's explain this purge system. Um, I had a phone call, so I had to cut that last clip a bit short. Now, this ain't gonna show it properly, but inside of there, you'll see black horrible fucking shit. It's called sugaring. And it's when the molten material, as you weld in, oxidizes with the atmosphere, basically. And um, we don't really want that, so we need to fill the pipe full of shield gas full of argon in this case because that's what we're using to weld with so we have a separate little supply look here's the, the side that lets out the gas for the welding and here's the side that lets out the gas down the fucking 10 Ridlington place bit of tubing if you know you know that's horrible Ralphie why are you saying that um, and that trickles just past atmosphere the pressure of that coming out you can just about hear it if you put it to your ear and then we blank the end off with a bit of masking tape with some holes in so that that fills full of fucking argon and protects us as we weld. Now, these rubber bungs don't like to be right up to the fucking weld. Here are, look, here's the one for the big big exhaust. Um, I found if you go too close, they fucking melt. <laughs> so, what I'll do is I'll weld this bit, yeah, and uh, this bit and then I'll take that out and swap them around and shove that in the end and fucking do that for that. Also, a, a big thing to note is that no matter how many tacks you get on, when you weld this TIG weld exhaust pipe, it'll fucking move, trust me, it'll move. Now, that's not usually an issue, usually it fits all right, but you can minimize that by doing like here, look, where we've got all these fucking lobster tail, by going all the way around that one before you start on that one. Don't be getting it in position and doing all of these as you go round, otherwise it'll fucking pull up, yeah? This will lift up, because that'll shrink with the heat that you're putting into it. So top tip there. So, use your purge. You can get away with a, a, a fucking push. If you're holding mild steel, you won't bother. Um, and some bikes, don't give a fuck. This Triumph will run with the sugared up fucking headers. It ain't bothered, but some of the Suzuki's won't have it. It's weird, the disruption in flow really fucking upsets them. So I've heard. Not a problem I've had, but so I've heard. Anyway, get your purge on, get your weld on, get a comfortable place. I've got the heater on, get nice and warm. Um, I'm going to set you up on a tripod over here, and you can watch me weld a bit in fast forward, probably. 
and then uh, we'll get it back together and on the bike and happy days, really. Excuse me. <coughs> Fuck off. Get off and walk. Right. Here we go. Look, there's that one done. I ended up swapping the masking tape out for a fucking finger. I can't remember what they're called. Finger cock fucking thing. Yeah. It's it's heat proof and it will let the gas permeate it. So so we stuck that in the end there because the glue let go on the tape because it got too hot, obviously. And that is one down. Uh, three bits to go so it's just more of the same you know you've seen me do that or a bit of that we'll pick another one at leisure that one here we go it's got a lot less fucking going on we'll do this one next same mo bung it up both ends weld it up i think we'll, we can leave that as well we ain't got to swap that over that can live there can't it because it's not going to get too hot so we'll weld all the way around that one. Sorry, bad fit, bad camera work. All the way around that one. All the way around that one. Fucking cheers and thanks for coming. Right, there you go. So, I've, no, I've run out of fucking gas. I've got one join left and no gas. Yeah, there's a little bit there that I want to go over again. But apart from that, the job's a fish. Bob's your answer. That is a finished system, all in stainless. We use the original part, top part of the header. Everything else is aftermarket or made to suit or from raw materials, we will say. So, yeah, I'll get some gas ordered, get that finished, get back on the bike. And uh, you'll see it in the next thrilling instalment, no doubt. So there you go. That's another job ticked off. Once I get that gas and get the last couple of welds. I'm sure you get the picture so far. It just leaves me to say, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Check out all the bumps in the description below and I will catch you on the next one. Here you go, look, trying to frame shot, frame shot. Big love everyone. See you soon. Yeah.